So one gigabit per second internet is coming to where I live, but myself and a lot of other people won't be able to actually get it. Stick around to find out why. It's TechWiz time. So it was recently announced that Wollongong was going to be the first gigatown for receiving one gigabit per second internet in Australia. Now there are a few other sites out there that do or can supply one gigabit per second internet to Australian residents, but at this stage, this is the first major one that's come to Australia, and it's through a company called My Republic. So if you've checked out my previous video, which will be up here now, what I had to do was actually load balance two ADSL2 connections that were running at five megabits per second each. So that was five over one. And basically what I had to do was get two telephone lines installed so I could run both of them at the same time. So I was able to get 10 over two, which is 10 megabits per second over two megabits per second upload. So then what happened in September, the National Broadband Network, which is the government funded broadband campaign for all of Australia, came to my area. So I upgraded both of my ADSL connections to two 100 over 40 megabit per second connections. For the average consumer, two NBN connections is way overkill. Like most people wouldn't need that sort of speed. Some people would want it, but not a lot of people would need it. For my circumstance, however, I actually work from home and I have done so for, I think it's coming up to five years now. Actually, it's just gone over five years. So I've been doing that from five years, working from home, uploading large files as a graphic designer. So for me, a 100 over 40 internet connection, it wasn't quite fast enough to upload. So it was gonna upload at four megabytes per second, roughly, which is 40 megabits per second. What I really needed was double that speed so I could at least get it up there twice as fast because like anything, if time is money, then for me, being able to upload a lot faster is going to save me money as well as the uh, cl company that I work for. So long story short, I actually pay for two internet connections, which roughly comes out to about 100 Australian dollars a month each. So when you factor in the US currency and so forth, you'd be looking at roughly, I think about 75 US dollars a month per connection. And in pounds, I think it's about 50 pounds a month each. So with that little bit of a backstory out of the way, what's happening is that our town, Wollongong, or it's really a city really, it's been announced to be one of the first for My Republic to bring one gigabit per second internet connections to the region. And with the changes happening in July in regards to the wholesale prices for speed tiers, what's gonna happen is that more and more retailers are going to start offering higher speed tiers because it's gonna be cheaper for them. And in this case with My Republic, it looks like they're gonna be offering the service for $129.95 per month, which in US dollars is about 100 bucks a month. So I haven't seen a clarification on what the upload speeds are, but it could be anywhere from 400 megabits per second to one gigabit per second on the upload stream. And if that's the case, for me, uploads are more important than anything. So I don't really worry too much about the downloads because 100 megabits per second is, is pretty good for, for downloads. Even 200 megabits per second is awesome. But a gigabit is just, yeah, that's insane. Like. For a household with six people, it would be perfect, especially if they're all watching 4K Netflix all at once. But in saying that, just like the whole thing, you know, if it's too good to be true, well, that's what happens with this story here because one gigabit per second connections are limited to a 10 kilometer radius from the person that actually won. It's sort of a competition to see which town would get it and this person's address was chosen so because of privacy reasons, I don't think they're able to give out the address. It could be CBD. I haven't seen anything that tells me that it's uh, from the CBD, but from what I'm aware, it's from this person's address. So that could be anywhere in Wollongong, to be honest. The second downfall is that it is only available to people that have fiber to the premises. Now in Australia, in all their amazing technological, I can't even think of the word, um, in all their late knowledge of how technology works and so forth, they have decided after a change of government that, you know what, we're gonna try and speed this up, which it didn't actually happen and didn't work. It wasn't faster, it wasn't cheaper. That was the other thing that they said. Uh, they figured that, okay, you know what, we're gonna do it to the node 
So fiber to the node, and then from the node, they'll use the existing copper that's in the ground that's, you know, almost 100 years old. We're gonna use that to service the rest of the people. So I'm actually one of those people that is on fiber to the node, so I'm not eligible. And a lot of people in the Wollongong region won't be eligible either because fiber to the premises is primarily in the CBD areas and a little bit around, I think there's a, a couple of places down south a little bit more that have it. But apart from that, most of the Wollongong is on fiber to the node. So with the media uptake of this saying, oh, one gigabit per second is coming and so forth. Yeah, don't get too excited because most of us in Wollongong that would even want this won't be able to get it. And I did actually get clarification from My Republic to say that they won't be offering it to Fibre to the Node customers. So for anyone that's thinking, oh, but they haven't actually said that, then yeah, they have. I got the email and here it is here. So with that said, it could be cheaper for those people that need the faster internet speeds, but the people that do want them probably won't be able to get it. But in saying that, there is one person that could probably use this and his name is Angus and he's over at Maker's Muse, which you can check out his channel here. He does 3D printing videos, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, go and check him out. He's in the Wollongong region and he is definitely on fiber to the premises. So if he's not locked into a contract, he could look at this and possibly even save some money doing so as well. Pretty much he would be able to set up a live stream on all his 3D printers and upload all that footage all at one time and it probably wouldn't even touch his one gigabit per second internet connection. So think about that, Angus. And for those who think that I'm biased and so forth about how the Australian government has handled the internet connection throughout Australia, you can check an article out down in the description below from the New York Times, where they basically go through and say how Australia has really bungled this. And unfortunately it has because the government and the telecommunications were trying to mix and it just, honestly, it didn't work out. So unfortunately, Australians and Australia as a country is now limited by an inferior technology that will be outdated before they even finish. I was speaking to a journalist from Sydney and he is on ADSL um, and it's not the fast ADSL either. It's really, really slow. So he can't really work from home. He can't even really game when he's playing Dark Souls. It just craps out on him. So that just goes to show, like he won't even get the NBN in Australia, in Sydney, which is a capital city, until 2019. And even then, he probably won't get fibre to the premises either. He'll probably get fibre to the node. So any chance of him upgrading to a one gigabit per second connection is virtually impossible. So that's the deal with the Australian internet infrastructure at the moment. Um, the NBN is still being built. It won't be finished for years to come. And even when it is finished, it's going to be outdated and the technology is not going to be fast enough. So unfortunately, our politicians have disappointed us once again. But in moving forward, I mean, I've got fast internet here myself. I'm not too concerned. It would have been nice to be able to have those faster upload speeds and only pay for one connection instead of two. Uh, a lot of people have said out there, you're taking a connection away from another person in this suburb that may be the case. However, if we were on fiber to the premises, I wouldn't need to. I would be able to get a 100 over 100 connection and when it eventually comes here, a one gigabit per second connection, that wouldn't be a problem. If anyone remembers a certain person called Bill Gates, back when computers were in their infancy, he was saying that 640K kilobytes of memory would be enough for any computer. Move on to the future and now we're looking at my machine having 64 gigabytes of RAM. So that's quite a little bit more than 640K. And the same thing was actually said about the National Broadband Network that 25 megabits per second would be enough for anyone. Uh, 4K, 8K footage is on the way shortly. I really don't see 25 megabits per second being enough, but who am I? I'm just a, a tech enthusiast. I'm not a politician, I don't make the rules, but I wish they would actually listen to people that do use the technology and do understand that in the future, things are going to be needed more, just like power, food, etc. Everything needs more as we get bigger and faster. So that was another one of my on the couch videos, a bit more of a relaxed, 
response of me just talking to you back and forth. Nothing too tense, just me talking about a topic, in this case, the internet. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. If you didn't like this new format, then make it known by giving me a thumbs down. I'm working on editing and putting together at the moment two Synology videos, so they'll be both on virtual machines. So if you're interested in virtual machines and NASs and so forth, then make sure you check those out soon. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and as always, imagine, learn, create. What is the current temperature in Celsius? It's 11 degrees Celsius right now. What is the current temperature in Fahrenheit? It's 51 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's winter in Australia right now, and it's pretty cold.